part of our ongoing series is Portland Over. We have documented how the city is dealing with two drug epidemics, fentanyl and meth, which are also fueling crime and the homeless crisis. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid considered a downer. It is so powerful, even a small dose can kill you instantly. Meth, however, considered a stimulant, an upper, and there's a new version of meth on the streets that's even more powerful. Our investigator, Dan Tilkin, talked to a local drug treatment center that's launching a new treatment when it comes to meth. For the very first time, Dan? It, very important because there is no FDA-approved treatment for meth addiction. But a study last year revealed promising results by combining two different prescription drugs, and that treatment is now available and offering hope. We we're pretty desperate for tools, for better tools. Tracy Wynn is the medical director of substance use at Cascadia Behavioral Healthcare. And if you drive around Portland, you'll see Cascadia's eight new billboards advertising a new effective addiction treatment for meth, opioids, alcohol. It's the words meth and treatment together that's unusual. A study last year revealed combining naltrexone and bupropion showed success. Naltrexone is traditionally used to treat alcohol and opioid addiction by blocking receptors in the brain. Bupropion is prescribed as an antidepressant and to help people stop smoking. So on the one hand, we're placing dopamine to help people feel better. And then on the other hand, we're blocking opiates so that if people do continue to use, it's less interesting. It's not as rewarding. It doesn't feel as good. And so, um, yeah, it's like a, a positive and a negative put together. The combination is not a meth miracle cure. The study last year revealed it helped nearly 14% of patients with their addictions over the course of 12 weeks. Using medications to give people a little bit of relief, just a little bit of stabilization, and then we can do all the other things that we know are so important for substance use recovery, like counseling and attending groups and attending meetings and building that community. Tracy Wynn also says the neurotoxic neurotoxicity of the new meth uh, makes it much more challenging to engage people in recovery because of the damage it does to the brain. Getting started with treatment is the hardest part, and she thinks this new treatment can open up the door to that. You know, Liz and I were talking about this, and we've known from previous stories, Dan, that uh, it can take a, a lot of work to get into treatment that often there aren't enough beds. Not often enough beds, but Tracy said for this treatment, there are beds open right now. She also says uh, if you have insurance or don't have insurance, it doesn't matter to contact them anyway, and they will look at treatment. Yeah, that's important. And so now we can get the word out so that people can get this help. Dan, thank you.